Hello, everybody. This is Murray back with you in this edition of Lone Star Diary. In Lone Star Diary, we talk about the Old West. We talk about the cattlemen, the Indians, the cowboys, and what have you. And all our stories are true. There's nothing is nothing fictional about these stories. And tonight we're going to talk about Richard J. Clark a successful Texas cattleman and Confederate soldier. And here's how it goes. There was an old newspaper headline that simply read Death of Richard J. Clark, which marked the passing of one of Texas veteran stockmen. The article beneath the headline went on to describe the life of Richard Clark, mainly about his career in the ranching industry, and to be more precise, his experience raising stock in Lavaca County, Texas. Richard Clark is another unique individual of all the soldiers that, that fought in the Civil War. He's buried in a little cemetery about 25, 30 miles southeast of Hallettsville, Texas. Richard joined when he was 16 years old. And he died at the age of 89. And this headstone is in that little cemetery. I took that picture many years ago and I came upon this grave when I was visiting the grave of my dad who is buried in in that same little cemetery. As I said before, Clark died at the age of 89 and all of the information that I have about him was in the old newspaper clipping sent to me by one of his descendants, Rick Clark. The newspaper article was so faded that I could not read the name of the publication where it appeared. Rick also sent me a copy of Richard Clark's obituary, which which was also faded and hard to decipher. But there was enough there to put together the story of Richard Clark better known by his friends and his family as Uncle Dick. According to the obituary, Richard J. Clark Sr. was born near Hallettsville in Lavaca County, where he lived most of his life. He was the son of John and Marguerite Clark, who came to Lavaca County by way of Indianola, from St. Louis, Missouri in 1837. Richard was born February 11, 1845, two miles south of Hallettsville near the Lavaca River. As a young man, Clark spent a lot of time herding cattle in the area around Hallettsville. And at at, at the outbreak of the Civil War, he joined General Lee's forces and remained with the Confederate Army until the end of the conflict. According to the aged newspaper article, upon his return home from the war, he once again became involved with the cattle business. Clark went on, Clark went on at least three cattle drives, sending herds up the trail to Abilene, Kansas. He met Wild Bill Hickok on one of those trail drives. The old publication also included the following. He became owner of the famous 44 Ranch, located in the corners of Lavaca, DeWitt, and Victoria counties. He sold the ranch in 1881 and moved to a ranch in Lavaca County, east of the Navidad River and near the Jackson County line. From the information gathered in his obituary in the old newspaper article, It is very evident that Richard J. Clark Sr. was a dedicated family man. He divided much of his holdings with his children, 
and kept just enough land to graze a few hundred head of cattle for himself. And Clark never forgot his fellow soldiers from the Civil War. And he attended their reunion, which was held in Houston in 1920. He was a member of the Odd Fellows organization at the time of his death and had been a member for some 60 years. The beloved Uncle Dick Clark was described as an honorable and honest citizen. It is said that a few days before his death, he was still seen riding a horse and spending time with his cattle. Richard J. Clark Sr. is buried in the little cemetery of Speaks, Texas, about 30 miles southeast of Hallettsville. A very short and precise story about the life of a Confederate soldier and a Texas cattleman. And there are many of them, friends. There are many of them dotted across the landscape of the United States, both Confederate soldiers and Union soldiers, Americans all, brother against brother. Over 600,000 of them died in that war. And think about it again. They were all Americans. They were all Americans. So I don't know. It's uh, it's sad to read about these things. You know, it's uh, it's just something that is our history, and it's something that we we can look back on. And I found out not long ago that I'm a direct descendant of Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? I'd have to be kin to a Yankee. But all kidding aside, Grant was a good man, and probably because of him and, and Abraham Lincoln that saved this union. But you know, back in those days, people in the South, very few of them owned slaves. Only the elite owned slaves. That regular old boy that was down in those trenches getting killed, he didn't own any slaves. And most of them were fighting more for states' rights than anything else. They wasn't they wasn't fighting to hold on to to slavery. But you'll never hear that from some sources. Well, I don't know, it's it's odd how I would be in that little cemetery and I guess what caught my eye about Mr. Clark's grave was Somebody had put a Texas flag and a Confederate flag alongside his headstone. And even though those flags over the years have, have been faded, uh, every time my brother and I go to the little cemetery, if, his, if Mr. Clark's flags are in bad shape, well, well we replace them. So... I don't know, it's, uh, like I said before, it's sad. It's mighty sad, but it's part of our history that that we live with. Folks, I want to leave you with this. All of my articles are at texasescapes.com on the Internet. And you can find them there. And uh, just go to texasescapes.com. Look for the column Lone Star Diary, and you'll find me there. You can also contact me via email by going to Lone Star Diary at gmail.com. And I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you know, perhaps you've got something you'd like for me to cover. I've I'm going to be covering a lot more. I've, I've picked up some more books about the old Texas cattlemen, and, and I'll be sharing those stories with you, even though they're stories that I didn't write. So I hope you enjoyed this edition, and uh, I hope you'll stay tuned for for many more that I've got planned coming on down the line. But for now, I'll be saying good night to you. 
Remember the old Texas cattlemen? Remember the cattlemen from all across the nation? And God bless these soldiers that fought in the Civil War, Confederate and Union. They fought and died for a cause that they believed in, and we sure can't fault them for that. Good night, everybody.